Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go through some layout best practices, which include features such as lock, group, flip, alignment, and canvas guides. As you can see here, I've got a product image on my canvas. Now, the first things first, I wanna make sure that all my elements are aligned properly. You can use the smart canvas guides to make sure everything's aligned correctly. I would like to align it with this shape right here. Use the smart guides that show up as you move elements on the canvas. As you can see, those dotted lines are the smart guides. They help you align elements with each other. So as you can see, I've got a perfect alignment with the shape now. So next up, I'd like to take all of the related information at the bottom here and group it so that it moves together as one element. This helps keep all of the related information together and helps prevent me from displacing any of the items accidentally. As you can see, every element is individual at the moment. So to group them, you want to hold shift on your keyboard and select every item that you want to group one by one. Once you've selected all of your items, you want to hit the group button under the options tab. So once they're grouped, as you can see, they move together as one object. The great thing about this is that you can customize each color individually by going to the colors tab under options. You can now also make the whole group transparent. And if you like, you can add a drop shadow, switch the toggle for the drop shadow on and tweak the shadow as you like it. Let's switch off the drop shadow for now. Once you're done grouping your elements together, you can make sure that your object is perfectly aligned on the canvas by using the alignment tool. Perfect, now my group is perfectly aligned on the canvas. Now to make sure that my group never moves again, I'm gonna lock it in place so that I don't accidentally move it out of position. Once any element is locked, you cannot scale it, rotate it, or move it. So locking and grouping helps all of your elements stay organized on your canvas and keep them in position. Next up, I'd like to see how my product looks if I flip it. Simply select the product and go to the flip button on the top navigation menu and hit either flip horizontal or flip vertical depending on what you need. I wanna flip it on the horizontal axis. So I've done my flip and I think that looks great. If you want further support on aligning all of your elements on your canvas, you can go to your canvas guides on the top navigation menu. Simply click the button and select grid guide. That will set a grid across your whole canvas to make sure that you can align your elements according to the grid. So using the grid, I've aligned my text in a different position. I'm happy with it. So let's turn off the grid guide now. So that's it guys. Now that you know all the best practices for creating a layout, you can now keep all of your elements organized to make designing a breeze for you. See you guys in the next video.